I just need that much more room. Oh, yeah, snorkel. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Yeah, I did. I put you there. Just kidding. Hey, welcome back to Tom Creek ATV. I'm sure you're here for the second part of the Honda 300 Resurrection. Um, if you haven't seen the vid first video, go ahead and go watch that because it uh, threw me for a whole loop. Uh, but, you know, some good things happened this week that I didn't get on camera because it was cold and I just want to come out here and just put some parts on. But I'll walk you through it because that's what I can do. Okay? Welcome back to Tom Kick ATV. So, throughout this week, I have gotten the new VR, voltage regulator rectifier in. Uh, I got the new starter solenoid in, and I got the new battery in. Now, I've got all those installed because they were super easy. VR bolts in right here with just two bolts, boom, boom, and then it has two plugs, one right behind here, and then one in this little junction up here. The new battery is in, starter solenoid is in where it goes. Now, an awesome thing happened. I was cussing every cuss word in the book 17.7 million times, trying to figure out why I would never get a click from this to do anything. Well, wouldn't you know it, a blown fuse, this little guy right here was stopping everything. Now, it was full of sand and mud and just like everything else in this bike, it was just part of the beach. So I put a new, new fuse in that. And all of a sudden, wouldn't you know it, I have a red oil light, which is basically your, hey, I'm on, and listen. So, I had to order a new starter. I basically jumped the starter straight up with my jump box. That's how I know it's locked. Solid, probably full of mud and dirt, just like the everything stuff on this machine so it's fine it's 300 i get it stickers it's the same way it's fine speaking of st stickers i got it. boy do i have an update for you just sit around there'll be a video probably two weeks from now just hang tight so but today's video hopefully i have the last part that i need which is the cdi box Every forum I read said if you're having starting issues or running issues and it's not a battery and it's not inject and it's not carb and it's not spark, check your CDI. Well, I pulled this old CDI off and shook a half a pound of sand and mud out of the connector here and there's still stuff falling out of it. So I can only imagine that that CDI box is bad. Now I'm pretty sure I bought this exact same CDI box. But it had really good reviews on Amazon. So today we're going to get that CDI box plugged in. Hopefully get the headlights working. And then I can start on the body repairs while I'm waiting for the starter to come in. So let's see what happens. And it does just so happen to be the exact same CDI box. Wouldn't you know it. But this one doesn't have any mud. And the connectors so this is a four and two plug which obviously this has been changed before because it's relocated nicely right here to the front all I got to do is make sure that I put them back in the correct orientation so I don't short this one out because that would be not fun obviously you just want to look at your your retainer clips make sure that you're putting your plug in with the retainer clip in the right direction which now I have so that's in that's in I don't know guys let's see what happens but I don't
starter in, I should be able to ES this thing and be nice and happy. this up in a nice bow guys if you have a Honda 300 that you run in the water which is I mean that's not what they made them for but damn it they could have made them for that uh, and you have an issue where it has a hard time starting or it won't start or it won't let you idle or accelerate past like a thousand rpms before backfiring and bogging and cutting out First thing you want to check, obviously, is ignition. Ignition coil, wire, plug, double tap your v CDI, double tap your CDI, and do your VR, stuff like that. If it's full of mud and muck and sand and dirt, chances are that's really hurting your uh, acceleration and ignition and all that stuff. So. Awesome, we got her fixed. I can tell the customer that that's done and give me a little more time to put the starter in. And I gotta finish wiring up the headlights. And uh, here in a little bit, we'll take her for a spin. I'll get the seat and everything put that, I got the winch put on it. So moving right along, check your CDI box. So one of the things I told the customer I was gonna be doing was fixing this right here. Now, if this was my rig, I'd probably go and shoot crosses all the way around, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna, because it's a customer bike, I'm gonna do one right here on the edge just to hold it together. And then if the customer chooses to do, you know, four or five more around it, then that's his prerogative, but I just can't do that because it's not my bike. So let's do a little, uh, let's do a little stitching, why don't we? You don't want to go too far out, just enough to get a bite. Ratchet! Ah, Kidding. I always tell everybody, for the sake of making it look good, always start from the inside. That way you're attache if you will is inside and then just make sure you're put together you've got it butted up against itself so it doesn't have to underlap i may wind up having to do exactly what i said i wasn't going to do and run one up here to hold it together should be fine i'll do one
Maybe that'll help with the tires. I don't know. I don't know until we ride it. <laughs>